Hello and welcome to Art Sundays. My name is Francesca. Today we'll explore some of the inspiring works from the Unearthed Photography Weeks exhibition and learn how to make a diorama. Unearthed Photography Weeks exhibition explores the history of photography through nature. The exhibition includes over 100 works by 25 photographers. The exhibition explores still life, light, form and colour. Photographer Roger Fenton produced stylish and detailed photographs of fruit, flowers, ceramics and glassware. Young Van Heysen painted still life arrangements. Heysen's paintings were also celebrated for their exceptional detail and known as an impossible bouquet because it would be impossible for such an arrangement of a variety of flowers to bloom at once. Taking inspiration from Roger Fenton and Young Van Heysen, let's make a diorama. A diorama is a 3D model which illustrates the scene. Originally dioramas were mobile theatres. In today's workshop, we will make a miniature version and recreate an exciting scene. Next time you are outdoors, why not explore the woodlands? Really immerse yourself and use your imagination to inspire your theme. Think about the scene you will create. Will you have characters? Will you tell a story? Think about the mood. Will you have calm blue skies or a crashing thunderstorm? For this workshop, you will need a ruler, a pair of scissors and tape. Pens, pencils, glue and paints. Coloured paper, coloured card and a small cardboard box. String and a battery tea light. So let's begin. Remember to cover your work area and wear something that you don't mind getting messy. For my diorama, I will create a bee house filled with blooms. First let's prepare the inside of the diorama. I'm using a combination of paper, card and paint. I'm starting off by cutting off the edges of the box, but you can keep those if you want to open and close your box, but I prefer to have mine open. So I'm just going to cut those off first. Be careful when you're using the scissors, take your time. I've decided to keep one of my flaps for the top of my diorama, which I will label later. Okay, so let's start with the inside. going to glue a piece of paper and stick it at the back. You can of course use some paint but I quite like to have the paper for the background at the back and then you can always build onto it afterwards. So just rub that in place. Next I'm going to paint the inner walls. I'm going to paint it green. So I'm just going to mix up some green paint using blue and yellow. And then I'm just going to paint the inner walls. Okay, once you've painted the inner walls, you can set that aside to dry for a few minutes. While that's drying, we can start working on the inside characters. So I'm having some bees. And I'll show you how to make one. To first cut out an oval shape using black card. And then 
cut two strips of yellow paper and glue them in place. Just snip that off and now we're going to cut out the wings and the eyes using the white paper. Animals and insects are integral to achieving a balanced ecosystem. Bees are vital to a healthy environment and help plants to grow by transporting pollen between flowering plants and plants feed animals which keeps the cycle of life turning. So now I'm going to paint some flowers. Remember to have fun here and to really be as bold as you like. I'm using watercolours. Watercolours are really easy to use and a little really goes a long way. Carefully cut out the flowers and once you've done that, we'll set that to one side and continue making our scene. Now using a piece of card, I'm going to create a hedge by layering up different colours of green and adding in some insects. So the box should be dry by now. So I'm going to show you how to cut a slit in the side and this will allow you to change your scene. So just measure equal sides on both sides. You can do more than one slit on each side but I'm going to just start with one slit and then just draw a line to use it as a guide. And using a pair of scissors, just carefully cut out the slit. I think for this 
bit you will need a helping hand because it is a bit tricky. So use the edge of the scissors first to scour out the line and then cut out the slit. Okay, now we're going to get all of our bits together and pop them into the diorama. So fold them to make a tab and then glue them and then press them down. So now I'm going to include the bumblebees. I'm going to use some string so that I can tape it onto the top of the inside of the box. And it was really nice to see some movement inside the diorama. Now let's test out the seam. Slot it in one side. You can either leave it there or you can slot it through to the other side. And it's really up to you or you can slot another one in from the other side. Okay, so now I'm going to label and name my diorama. So I'm just going to use some stamps and glue it in place. So the great thing about the diorama is you can change the scenes and have many different stories. And for a finishing touch, I have a battery tea light, which is a great to, way to create an atmosphere and a mood. Well done, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the workshop. Remember to share your dioramas at Dulwich Gallery, hashtag Art Sundays.